Hey guys, uh, this is Life is Real, and I'm going to show you how to make a spinning uh, retro kind of effect uh, text for an intro or a little dot gif or whatever you want. It's pretty cool, easy for uh, beginners. Um, I don't have one done to show you guys because I don't ha I, I haven't had the time to uh, render it out or render a good one out so I just took one from YouTube and it's gonna look something just like this yeah like just like that but maybe not as uh, fast or however fast you want so um... once you get that you go into cinema uh... uh... MoGraph and then you go mo text and you change your text to whatever you want and your you can make your depth whatever you want. I usually make it eighty font. Pick pick a nice good font. Uh, m m uh more it would be better if it was like a nice thick font. Uh, so it has more um better pieces. And I'm just gonna wait for my font to load. Uh, I'm using R uh R twelve. Cinema 40 R12, so it might might be a little bit different if you're using, uh, like R11 or R11.5. So I'm gonna use slant and okay, slant, nice and thick. That's good. Uh, make it a little bit bigger. All right, render settings. Go output. Uh. 1280 by 720 save as AVI options compressor Intel IYUV codec okay and that's it and then anti-aliasing best animation 2x2 two two and 2x2 two two. options fast render setting Six two and six oh whoops six and effect um you can I would use global illumination but just for now I'm not going to f to save time ambient occlusion still makes it look pretty good one fifty oh one fifty and forty okay so once you have that it's all good just like that and then uh with your text layer or actually no make a floor first just yeah make a floor and then with your text layer you're going to uh you click your text layer you uh hold alt and then g and you make a null that way your text layer is a child of the null and you could name that if you want but I'm not going to and you have null and then you go MoGraph, whoops, MoGraph fracture, drag the null under the fracture, and then just like that. And then well, when you click fracture, you go MoGraph effector, random effector. And then you unclick positioning. Oh, wait, hold on, no, 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 no. delete the random, sorry. Uh, you go. Fracture, you go uh, under object, you go mode, you go explode segments. Okay, once you have that, then you do the random effector, then you have that, and then you uh, go per parameter, then you go positioning, which is checked, uncheck that. And then you go just from position over to to rotation. I like to make this just a random number, so like 500 by 400 by 100, and it makes this uh, goofy kind of random effect right there. And then once you get that, you're going to, oh, I'm going to make this about uh, 150 for keyframes. So, you, so once you get that, you... Uh, press the middle red keyframe button and then that uh, makes it so it keyframes everything and then uh, 
you click keyframe then go into random and then change this to zero just change it all back to zero oh, wait wait no, no 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 you go back 400 500 move this over to about 50 and then change it all to zero 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 keyframe that way when you go back it looks like this so then you're at 50 and then you go to about like 90 ish and then you go back to 500 by 400 by 100 and then keyframe and then you're gonna go forward about to 120 130 ish around there back to zero 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 uh... Oh, whoops and yeah keyframe alright then you go back and you watch and it looks just like just like that and then uh... you're going to uh... change the camera angle instead of just sitting right here and watching it camera and then click this little uh... black box just and then make it white that way it shows everything or that way you're the camera and then you can unclick this little red box if you want go camera angle the camera however you want maybe go right here zoom in just like that uh... that's good and then make a uh, color for your font if you want um... I'll, I'm just gonna show you right now how to make a cool um... effect on your text so you just make a black material just plain black and you make a different color whichever you uh... oh no you you go texture gradient quick gradient make it 2d dash v uh... make the two colors whatever color you would like so i'll make like a a uh... kinda like teal ish to a light blue just like that and you go color texture copy channel luminance texture paste channel and then reflection bring brightness down to zero texture great uh... Fre fresnel and then you can bring this down to whatever you'd like maybe about right there drag and drop the black onto the text uh... make sure that you oh, yeah make sure that you uh... click the um... black material next to the fracture and then under tag the second one down says selection capital C and then the number one and then that way it's just like that you drag the other text on top of that it's gonna look like that that's okay just drag that behind and uh, oops. and it should look like that uh... Mm, my color is a little too similar so i'll go gradient i'll make this darker just like that okay that way it's darker and then that way it looks just like that um... so it's like black in the front and then it has a gradient in the back and uh... You uh, go back to camera, go to good camera angle, click the uh, oh, whoops, go back to one, click the keyframe button, drag it all the way across, and make a different camera angle.
just like that. Keyframe. That way when you go back it's gonna look like this. You're gonna pan across and it's gonna look just like that. So it looks pretty good. And yeah, you just let that render out. Um that's that's all you need to know. And you just render it, it looks pretty good. Oh, uh render settings options from zero to one fifty. And that's and you just let it render. Um for a more for a better effect, go effect and global illumination, but if you add that it's gonna go about it's gonna render about five to ten times longer, so beware. So hope you guys like this tutorial. Subscribe and check out my other Cinema 40 tutorials. Thanks. See ya.